Hey guys, it's Davis from 1UP and I'm going to show you how to bulk upload from a CSV today. So I'm under Schedule Posts and Bulk Upload Posts. And if I click this How to Upload CSV, pot, uh, CSV file, it will take you to this guide here. So uh, the first column will contain the message of your post. The second column will contain a uh, image URL if you want an image in your post. And the third column will be the time of your post. So both the second and third are optional, but you need something in the first. So uh, here is a link to the sample uh, CSV in a Google Sheet. So I'll open that up for you so we can take a look here. So if a post has text only, text would go in column A, nothing would need, be needed in column B because that's where the image URL would go. And then the date and time would go in column C. If you want a post with both text and an image, text would go in column A, the image URL would go in column B. So I'll take you, here's the image URL. So that's our image here. And then the time in C, uh, third one is a post with text, link, and an image. Uh, so here's the link, here's the text, and then the link will go in column A as well. Then the image URL would go in column B, and then in column C there's no time set, and that's fine, you can leave column C blank, and then on the scheduling screen you can choose a time for this post. So in addition to this, I'll add something just to show you guys how it works. Um, so I'll just say this is a post. And then for image URL, you got to make sure that the image URL ends in a .jpg or a .png uh, image link. Uh, and you can't upload files from a private drive such as uh, Google Drive or Google Photos. It has to be publicly accessible. So Imager, um, you can upload images on Imager uh, and then use the image link. That's an easy way to make this work for you. So I'm on Imager, here's an image. The one thing you have to keep in mind is right now the image link, um, or sorry, the, the link to this page is not one that ends in .png or uh, .jpg. You can see it just ends like that. So what we need to do on Imager is just right click and then open this image in a new tab. And then this tab you can see ends in .jpg. So that is the image URL that we want. And I'll paste that in here. If I were to use this image URL, then it would uh, I'd get an invalid uh, image file error. So make sure yeah, that it ends in a, a .jpg or a .png. And then for the time, I'm going to just leave this blank. Um, and we can fill that in on the next, on the uh, scheduling screen of 1UP. So if you're using a Google Sheet, the one last thing you have to do is under File, you want to download it as a comma-separated values or CSV. So I'm going to download and, all right, download it as sample CSV. So now that that's ready, I'll go back into one up and I'll click bulk upload from CSV and then choose our CSV file that we just saved. And then here we are on the scheduling screen. So you can see this post has text only, no image. This is the second one uh, with text and an image. And then this is the third one with the text, the link, and the image. 
And then this is the fourth one that I created, which just said, this is a post and here's our image. So you can see with the ones that I didn't set a time for. So these last two, one up will just pre-populate a time. So to change that, you can just click on it and choose a new time. Or if you wanted to update the interval between all the posts, like maybe I wanted one hour between each post, I can click this and let's say I wanna start at 3 p.m. today and have 60 minutes between each post. I can do that. And then you can see I have three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock and six o'clock. That way you don't have to click and choose the time for each of them, which might come in handy if you're scheduling many posts at once. All right, and then also uh, on this page, we can choose the category that each post is going to. So once I choose the category, I would choose which accounts I want these to uh, this post to go to. And I can do that with all the posts as well. However, if I want to have all these posts go to the same category and same accounts, I can click up here and choose a category and then choose an account. And you can see that account was selected, and sorry, that category and account was selected for all the posts. So that way you don't have to, you know, manually click a category and account for each of your posts. And that is how you bulk upload uh, using a CSV.